This giant concrete tube is the SR-99 tunnel in Seattle. The basic building blocks of the tunnel are the curved concrete segments that form the outer wall. The story of how all these segments become a tunnel started at the Encon plant in Fredrickson, about 45 miles south of Seattle. My name is Tim Nias. I'm the quality control manager here at Encon Washington. Each segment has reinforcement steel, a cage in it, in a sense. The cages weigh about 2,000 pounds each. They really, they act as the skeleton of each segment. It just gives it an additional strength. The flying bucket is how we get our concrete from the batch plant to the pouring station. Uh, about three yards of concrete go into that per load, and it takes three of those to complete one segment. After they pull it out, we have to rotate it so the curvature is on the bottom, and then it can be placed into the cradle and then worked on. Probably the biggest, most rigorous part of this whole process would be the, the water seal. We have to ensure that that area is 100% clean and patched before we put that gasket on, and that just ensures that no water is going to get in behind it and cause leakage in the tunnel. We take the concrete from every batch. That mold is then broke via a compression machine, and the machine gives us our compressive strength that that particular sample can withstand. After the segments are certified for quality, they're trucked to Seattle and moved inside the tunnel. These animations show how 10 segments form one giant tunnel ring, and how Bertha builds the tunnel one segment at a time. In the end, more than 14,000 segments will form a two-mile-long tunnel wide enough for a double-decked road inside. <laughs>